Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and at the time this video goes out, I should be on the field wielding one of these loadouts, which is gonna be fantastic. This is for the September War, obviously, as you can tell by the title here at the Makerspace. I'm gonna be switching between some very effective loadouts, hopefully, and some potentially very ineffective but very fun loadouts. At least that is the goal. So we got kind of a kind of a variety here. The big one that I'm going to be wielding is, of course, my massive burn that I was recently sent. It's absolutely fantastic. I will have a whole video on this monstrosity, and uh, hopefully I will get some good footage from this event to, uh, to really demonstrate it in action. I have changed the spring. The spring that came with it was a little bit too short, but also too heavy to be able to prime from the shoulder. I doubled up a K26 and a K25, and now I can just prime it from the shoulder. It is still a very heavy prime, obviously, uh, and it does still get 100 FPS firing what uh, a number of people have dubbed, I think quite accurate, accurately, Rival XL. Uh, it's essentially a, it's a foam golf ball, is what it is, but it's got the dimpling of Rival. It looks like Rival is just huge. Uh, and it will count as a rocket launcher in our games because this thing is single shot. You, you have to load it each time, and I can't imagine it's terribly accurate. Uh, and I don't have a whole lot of ammo for it yet. I, uh, they sent me 12 rounds, but I, of course, wanted orange ammo because I'm me. And I ordered some on Amazon, and fortunately, I am not a fool and ordered a variety because the larger pack that I got, this was a 50 pack, these are entirely too rigid to use. They don't, they actually get 20 and less FPS uh, and they're way too hard to be shooting at people. Uh, these ones on the other hand are absolutely perfect. I ordered one other variety. Uh, I'll probably order probably two more varieties as well before I do the review. So I'll have a variety of ammo so that I can give you recommendations on, get this ammo, it worked the best. Uh, so you don't end up getting the, the, the garbage stuff that I ended up getting, uh, which is why you do that. So that should be an amazing video in the near future. I will be running my recently reviewed Gavin Fuzzy nine round um, uh, Fortnite. Well, it, it was the 6SH, it's quite clearly the 9SH now. I will be running two of those in conjunction with my heavy shield be running my large tower shield for at least one round in this war, uh, probably Titan Ball. Uh, and these have one of the, the higher capacity blasters that you can use with that. The other option is uh, I could use my um, Ultra, my Elite Ultra 2s, but I've already run that, ran them in the last war, and I think that's a little cheesy with that heavy shield to have semi-auto. So I'm going to go with the hammer primed ones. I will have two of them, um, and I will obviously have a melee. That should be a lot of fun. In other silly options, I am going to be running the Nerf Dog Ball Launcher, firing the X-Shot Stress Balls that I was sent, because they fit perfectly and they fire perfectly. Oh, I don't know how well they're going to fire. We're going to find out. That will be one of the silly rounds. I might run that in something like the, the 315s or uh, one of the goofier rounds, um, Carpe Testiculum, just to confuse the enemy, perhaps. Um, or maybe they will count for your total count. Hmm. Hmm, might not be a good idea. Uh, we'll see, but I'll run them in something just because it's gonna be suitably silly and I'll, I'll either run one of these as a sidearm with that since it's got a really slow reload or I might run uh, this, my Photon uh, because it is a magnificent sidearm and I do have a magnet holster for it, though I, it's, I hope it's somewhere on my, my table. It's a mess in here. Uh, I am ashamed at the state of the maker space right now. I'm working on it. I need more storage space in order to get this place cleaned out, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, the other serious loadout is I'm going to be running my Nexus Pro with uh, all of its bells and whistles that it has on it. Um, sling mount, sting stock, all that good stuff. Uh, and with that, I will also definitely be running this because they take the same magazines. I think this one's actually meant for canted, though I think it will fire either. Anyway, um, I will be running both of them in some at some point, um, and that'll be for one of the more serious rounds. I don't know which one. Maybe I'll use that one for Carpe so that I can cover um, either that or possibly for deploying the, um, uh, plant the flag. Uh, just so that I can I can provide cover for my team or something. I don't know. I wanna I wanna do some very specific loadouts for very specific 
game styles, and I, I want to play around with game styles this time. So um, I might be running a different mask because my uh, my very cool custom made tiger mask that was made for me by John doesn't work well with a GoPro, unfortunately. I would either need to add a GoPro mount, which would ruin the aesthetics, or go with a maybe a blaster cam or something. But uh, I, I do have some uh, masks that work better with my GoPro that I might use instead. But should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to fielding this. Hopefully it doesn't hit too much like a tank and people complain. If they do, then I'll, I'll, I'll drop it and go go to the the other one, but uh, it should be a lot of fun. We're good, we should have a really good turnout this time. I think we have either 15 or 14 or 15 players coming. Uh, we're slowly dialing it up a little bit long, larger to see what the uh, the, the arena can handle. Um, and uh, weather here is going to turn soon, unfortunately. We're heading into fall, which means it's going to start raining. And while we can play in light rain in the arena because it has canopy cover, uh, it would be, it, it could get a little bit miserable, um, which at which point I absolutely need to get the makerspace set up uh, and I definitely need to seal the roof before the rain comes um, so that we might transition to mod parties rather than, you know, depending on the weather, um, come in here and hobnob and maybe live stream a mod party or, or who knows. Um, there may be a live stream this evening. I am hoping that I can I can manage a live stream this evening of a snack eating after the potluck. Uh, you guys have sent me an absolutely ridiculous amount of snacks, and they are awesome. And we're going to go through them all before they get any further expired than they already are. And that should be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see if, if everyone is okay with that. If anyone isn't, well, then we might not do it. But um, I would love to be able to live stream us all sitting around and hobnobbing and talking about the event. Um, and while I, and I should be able to do that for a little while through my phone, we'll see how that works out. So stay tuned for that. Possibly it'll be later in the evening, but that's the plan. All right, those are my loadouts for this particular event. Let me know what kind of stuff you think I should run in the next one. That may end up a, a survey, perhaps on uh, my Patreon, similar to Brett's I'd Run That in a War. It'll be more of a what should I run in this war. Uh, and I'll either throw up options that you can choose between or I, I might just leave it open. I don't know. I'd love for, for recommendations. Things you uh, that I may have never fielded that you've always wanted to see in action. Uh, oh yeah, let me know. I will have war footage. I'm getting better and better at actually filming war footage and uh, hope it turns out good. Thank you guys for watching.